Hey guys, it's Steph. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I post content relating to Vue, Tailwind, and software development in general. So if that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Today, we're gonna to create a new project with Vue and Tailwind installed. This has been requested in a few of my previous videos, so I thought I would finally make it. If you would rather go to my GitHub and just clone this and use it as a template, you can do so. I will be posting the link to my GitHub as well as any other links you'll need in this video in the description below. To start off, just go to the Vue CLI webpage and scroll down to this npm install command. They also have yarn if you prefer that. Just copy and paste it into your terminal and this will download Vue for you. This will take a few seconds to download, but once it does, we can use the view create command to make a new file. We just type view create and then the name of the file you want to create. I'm going to call it template. All right, it looks like I already have a file named template, so I'm just going to cancel this and make a new file. I'll call it view tailwind template. So once again, I'll just type view create and then the name of the project I want to create. All right, I'm going to choose view three. It really doesn't matter what you select there. And it's going to create this new project for you. Now that we have our new view project created, we're going to copy this command to move into that project file. Then we want to run it locally. So we'll just do npm run serve. After this runs, we can copy the URL they give us and we'll be able to see it on our local host. It'll just be a basic view landing page, which they provide us. And that just means you created your view project successfully. So let's see if we did this correct. Awesome. Now we want to get our Tailwind downloaded. And to do that, we want to go to the Tailwind homepage and click get started. It's worth reading through all these docs um, but just for the sake of time, we're going to scroll down to where you see Setup Examples. And we're going to click on View CLI. And here they're going to give us instructions on how to get this downloaded in our View project. We're going to copy this command and just install it. I'll have to open another tab in the terminal. And now Tailwind is being installed. All right, it's done downloading, so we're going to go back to the README and just finish these instructions. We have to create a PostCSS config file, so I'm just going to copy this name and go create this file. First, I need to open the project in my text editor. I'm using Atom, but any text editor will work the exact same. All right, our project is open. So I'm just going to create this post CSS file and paste in the name and then I'll go get the content. Just copy and paste that in. All right. Next, I'm going to copy this path and just create this Tailwind CSS file. And I'll go get that content as well. Then lastly, I just need to get this SRC into my style on my app.view page. And close that off. And now Tailwind should be running in our view app. Let's go test it out. So I'm just going to go into the Hello World component and add some size and color to this text up here. Just make it 3XL, pink, and then I'll make it bold. So we should see this um, if Tailwind was installed correctly. And we don't, so I may have to go rerun this. I'm going to cancel this really quick and then do npm run serve again. And let's see if it loads now. Perfect. So it looks like our Tailwind is working with our View app. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to get more content like this. 
Also, if you have any ideas for future videos that I should make, comment down below. I read through those comments and I love getting recommendations. I hope you have a great time playing around with Vue and Tailwind and I'll see you in the next video.